Welcome back you guys. Okay, so we're kind of doing this like a little bit Vlog style. I hope you're okay with that. A little more casual today for like an easy get ready I'm about to get ready now, but I wanted to do a get ready and show you guys some of my favorite products Can I talk to you about like where I'm at where I've been? Um, where YouTube's been for me all of that stuff, which I know is like a broken record for some of you Which if you don't care, you don't care. I get it, but I figured I'd come back on here I love YouTube like I've always said one of those places that I, I watch it every single day <laughs> gonna give you guys like a little life update and kind of doing my makeup with you guys and then we'll kind of get back into being upstairs and all of that that's what we're gonna be doing it's probably not gonna be too long I'm not doing like a crazy dramatic look I'm basically just using favorite products and um, what I've been using recently also a portion of the video will be sponsored by she glam so thank you so much to them for sponsoring and we're gonna go ahead and dive on into it we got a lot to do so you guys are in our new bathroom. If you uh, followed me on my vlog channel, I kind of vlogged the process and on Instagram and everything, I kind of showed the before and after. Um, also, this is still my favorite product. This primer, the uh, Vanish Airbrush from Hourglass, it's so good. I've gone through like three of them. That never happens. But I love this bathroom so much. I've just been doing my makeup down here. Now before, my bathroom was done even before it was getting renovated i just loved doing my makeup upstairs the lighting is incredible upstairs but the lighting down here is also really good so once the bathroom down here got done i just kind of started coming down here more i've just had a lot of instagram opportunities as well so my focus has been there um but i really want to get back into this because i love videos i also love vlogging i have some things that i want to change here soon that will get some things off of my plate so that I can start doing more of what I want to do. I, I mean, I am doing what I want to do, but you know, I'm, I'm going to be doing less focus on certain things and focusing on like what I, what I love. You know what I mean? There's just some things that need to change and they're going to be changing. So you guys will see that soon. One of the things I've been doing is putting a bronzer on before foundation. I've been kind of putting it where I would normally bronze contour. I know it looks crazy right now, but then I'll take my foundation. I went back to this natural long hair or natural radiant long hair foundation from NARS. So freaking good. Where have I been? I forgot about it and then I got it during the recent Sephora sale and I've been loving it. So then I'll just kind of put it in the areas I didn't necessarily put bronzer. I just used the She Glam, the Sun Sculpt Liquid Contour. This is really, really good. These are $5, you can't beat it. And thank you to She Glam for sponsoring this part of the video. But truly you guys, I love these so much. The contours, amazing. I also love their blushes, so freaking good. I have the colors Devoted. I use Devoted all the time. If you don't have these, like I'm telling you, if you have oily skin, do not be afraid of these. They are some of the easiest products to work with. Oh, I also love this too. Their face products are really great, but the Watermelon Candy Cheeky Color Jam, it looks like my rosacea, but it's so pretty. And then I got a new color. This one's in On, on Point. I'm gonna use this one today because I love the shade of it. They have a lot of great products that are super affordable. I'm gonna be using some of them today. But they're having a winter sale if you guys are interested. A lot of stuff is incredibly affordable. Um, their powders are really great. Their eyeshadows are great. Their eyeliners. All these liquid face products are tr like truly incredible. I've mentioned them before, but if you haven't tried them, I mean, these are $5 a piece and they last you forever. And I love the little soft sponge on them too. That's a little sponge right there. This is the darker color. This one's in the shade Earthy Sepia. Really nice. But I'll leave a link down below if you want to check out their sale. I start with that first and then I go in my foundation. So I'm going to use the NARS one in Barcelona. And I'm just gonna, which I've kind of been going with, with different uh, foundations. And then alongside of that, I've also been using the Lancome one, which I love, but I've kind of been using the NARS one a lot more recently. And then I love the NARS, um, what's it called? The other one, the one that's shorter. I have no idea what the other NARS foundation went, but the other one that I love that you guys have heard me talk about a lot, I use that one too. Those are like my top ones right now so i'll just apply this in the areas where i didn't really apply that bronzer contour situation i mean i apply a little bit over like on the cheeks and stuff just so you can't see my rosacea but i just like the bronzing look that it gives i have been working a lot even though it probably doesn't look like it here on youtube i've been working a lot and then another thing too about like filming and stuff is it's so hard when people are in the house so like the i feel like this renovation project of the bathroom took a little bit longer than expected which I mean, it's fine. It's just, it took so long. There's so many people in the house and they need you for things and things are loud. And it's just like, you can't really, I don't know, couldn't really film very well. So now that I'm kind of like alone again, I'm able to start filming. Like, look at this combo. 
It's incredible. I'm also loving the Tower 28 concealer, but that is in my handbag somewhere that I can't find. So we're gonna use something else today. I do love this Dior one. I'm gonna use it today. This is a Dior Forever Skin Correct. And I'm gonna go ahead and start using this Rare Beauty Light Medium Eye Brightener. I don't really use eye brighteners. I don't know why I bought this. I have it, so I'm gonna use it. Um, another thing too, I figured I would tell you guys. So I haven't done a ton of videos, mainly because I also, I mean, I have a lot of stuff actually. Why did I buy this? Like, I don't understand. I have a lot of stuff upstairs that I, not, okay, not a lot. Not like it used to be back in the day when I used to like have a ton of products that were new to go through. But since the renovation started happening, I've been really enjoying just using the products that I love and have. And I haven't purchased a ton of makeup, believe it or not. I've just been kind of doing my own thing. My recent purchase actually was actually the Tarte Maracuja Lip Plump. And these are like the shimmer ones that kind of went viral there. And then I did the Sephora sale. But other than that, like nothing's really been catching my eye. I've just gone back to like my favorite products and just using what I know and love. I just haven't been super inspired, but I do want to get back to it because it is at the end of the day, this is my job that I started with and the ultimate job that I love. Like I'm so grateful to have this channel and to have built this channel over the years that like I can't just let it go. You know what I mean? I can't. I can't. And I'm really, like, I'm on TikTok. I, it's not my focus. Like, it, it still isn't. I know I've kind of talked to you guys about that before. So since I haven't been purchasing a ton of stuff, like, for makeup-wise, skincare-wise, I've especially been trying to get through my freaking hair care stuff. I have, I've been going through a lot. So I actually have a lot of empties to share with you. So that's one of the other videos that I want to make. I want to do, like, a best of 2023 video. I don't feel like I'm going to have a ton of stuff, but I have, like, solid staples from the year. Okay, so I also have this She Glam Insta Ready Powder. I have tried their Insta Ready line before, and I really like their powders, but I haven't tried their version of, I would, okay, it's called Bubble Gum, but it's like a very light pink powder. I have not tried their version, and I want to try it because there's some that are just too pink, and it just doesn't work, and I don't really necessarily like pink powders anyways because I just don't like pink tones. Oh my gosh, I say that as I put on the brightest pink blush. But you, you get what I'm saying, like when it comes to actually like my entire face, I don't want my entire face to be like pink. I want my cheeks to be pink, not like everything, like my rosacea, you know what I'm saying? This has a loose powder on the bottom, pressed up top, super easy to work with. I'm actually, do I wanna just go with the pressed powder first? I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender sponge. I love these things. And I'm just gonna take it. These are very smooth, by the way. I'm gonna, they're supposed to brighten. Again, really affordable. I mean, it looks really nice. I love loose powders and pressed powders. I actually have a pink powder I have been using. This one's from Givenchy. This one's the Prism, Prism Libre Viol Rose. I don't know, I can't speak it. But, I mean, I'm getting towards the end of this one. Can you guys see that? It's really, really good. If you want more of an affordable option, this would be a really great alternative because it's very, very smooth and it's like the same color. If anything, it's just a touch more pink, but I mean, you're probably not gonna be able to tell on camera. They look the same. So if you want the similar vibe, smoothing powder, I'm getting powder everywhere, <laughs> then try out the She Glam one. But what have you guys been up to? I would love to know. Things have just been crazy over here ever since Davis got promoted, which now he's a company commander. And he's basically just in charge of a lot of people. He's got a lot of sheet going on. So look at how smooth my skin looks. So good. I really like this pink one. This one is gonna go in with this one because it's stunning. I actually have all my makeup here and <laughs> on my counter right now, but I always just like open it up. I'm trying to not make a mess at this vanity because I specifically put in this vanity for me to get ready and I've been loving it. Another thing, which this is kind of the most random thing ever, but something that's been on my mind recently, I think just because I'm realizing I'm getting older and like my kids are getting older and this is a very mom talk probably that if you don't have kids, you'll be like bored and skipping. I have been so emotional lately. Like, and I'm not pregnant. Ooh, I'm not pregnant. I'm actually on my period now. I think it's just like um, hormones, like of just being a mom, honestly. Like you, life just flies by so fast and you don't realize it until one day you're like literally sitting there. Like last night 
we made hot chocolate and watched Polar Express and we stayed up late and it was so much fun. But like also the thing about Polar Express is it makes me cry and I know that's ridiculous. I don't know, like especially when I read the book, Mason, Mason loves Polar Express and he always wants me to read the book to him and I'll usually just read it. And it's so sad, like that very last page where it's talking about like, I can feel the tears now. I have to read it for you. So it ends with this, this line in the book and every time I start like getting emotional because I'm like, I'll tell you a minute, but oh my gosh, I'm already starting to cry. The book ends with the following line. At one time, most of my friends could hear the bell, but as years passed, it fell silent for all of them. Oh, see, even Sarah found one Christmas that she could no longer hear its sweet sound. And though I've grown old, the bell still rings for me as it all as it does for all who truly believe. Now, the reason, like, why does that make me cry? Every time I read the end of that book or every time I watch the movie, I start crying. Like, watching the kids watch the movie. Oh, my gosh. I use this blush, by the way, from She Glam, the love dive. I bawled my eyes out last night because I was doing, we watched Polar Express, and then I watched the new Chevy commercial, and I was a entire mess. It's just so magical, and I remember, if you have kids, maybe don't watch this part around them. What? I should have never brought this topic up. To think of like the time where I was younger and I loved Christmas and now I get to relive it again with the kids and knowing one day they'll be older and like they, you know, <coughs> my throat feels like it's closing up. I'm so emotional. Obviously everybody says you get to relive it through them and you do and it's so special and it, it kind of like watching them and thinking of me and when I was younger, just like how fast time flies, right? So I'm already thinking like how fast time flies. Crazy to know that like before you know it, you'll be hopefully by the grace of God, like 80 years old and who knows what life will look like, but it's gonna be here before you know it kind of thing. So it's like, it, it's a good reminder to kind of just like step back for a moment. One day there, the Christmas magic might be gone and oh God. It wrecks me. And I don't know why, because I'm in, I'm in the good part of it. You know what I mean? I'm very happy about it. Like, these are, like, good tears, but also, like, oh, I don't want it to end tears. You know what I mean? I'm going to stop talking about that, because that's just, that has been on my mind since the freaking season started. It's so special to watch. Like, I posted a couple videos on Instagram of them watching Polar Express, and I mainly took the videos because I wanted to rem one day I remember it like myself, you know? Like, I wanted to pop up on my memories and see how little they are and how excited they were. That's what I've been going through the last 24 hours. I literally was unboxing packages after watching Polar Express. And then I had saw this, people were like, oh, this Chevy commercial. And I was like, mm, let me go look at it and see. And I was wrecked, literally wrecked. I was unboxing my wax warmers, just bawling my eyes out. It's a beautiful commercial, by the way. This mascara, I first tried it and I didn't love it. I don't remember if I did a video on it. I didn't love it. But the more I've used it, it has been my go-to mascara. My camera just like shut off. So this has kind of just been the look I've been doing. It's something very kind of simple. Sometimes I'll do a flicked wing liner, which maybe I'll do that in my next video. But this has kind of just been my everyday, you know, something easy. My skin is looking really, really good, honestly. I'm very, I'm very happy with the way my skin is looking. But I'm gonna use this So Lippy Lip Liner Set from She Glam. I'm gonna use, I don't know what color I wanna use. Kind of ashy, so it makes your, kind of contours the lip out. If you use it especially on your bottom lip, it'll make your lips look more plump because it is that ashy tone. I am gonna go in with Huda's Lip Liner in Vivid Pink because I want a little bit of pink in there. The other one I would just use as like a contour, like with lipstick, which I guess I'm just gonna use Huda Beauty. It's like literally all I have right here. This one is in the color Baby Doll. Another thing I've been loving you guys, which I don't think I've even shown you, which I guess it would make a really good YouTube video, honestly, because who has, who is able to fit an explanation in one minute on Instagram? Not me, that's for sure. Studies have shown <laughs> I cannot shut up. I'm loving Heatless Curls. Kitsch actually came out with one that um, is bigger. It's like the XL for a longer hair. It's amazing. Love it so much. I'll show you because I have it right here. This is the XL one. This is the regular one. It's like thicker. It has this flat top as well, and it's longer. I used it a couple nights ago. My hair is a mess since I worked out today, but I do have like a little bit of my waves left. This is from the Heatless Curls. 
I need to touch up my fronts, but like, I mean, that's from two days ago. It's crazy, right? Okay, let's finish off this lip. <laughs> I feel like my video got like emotional very fast. I'm sorry, but that's where I'm at, you guys. All right, we have the Maracuja Lip Plump Soft Pink Shimmer Glass. This is the one I want to use. And it looked amazing on there. I think there's a few colors because I've seen some people have other colors. I just got this one. It kind of looks like sheer. Oh, that's pretty. Honestly, I can't really see the shimmer, but the gloss is really pretty. And I like that it's a color that you can use kind of over anything. Oh no, this is the lip plump. Why do I always do that? I hate lip plumping. I really do. I've been a gloss girl a lot recently. And not only that, I, I feel like I'm getting older because I feel like I can't leave the house without earrings. Like, isn't that crazy? Used to, I'd never wore jewelry. Now I'm like, I need some earrings. <laughs> Anyways, that is everything for this video. Kind of doing a little chit chat update you guys just let me know what you want to see down below i have a few videos in mind i have like three so far but if you have anything specific you can always put it down below in the comments thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you all in my next video oh also let me know if you like me filming down here if not i totally get it but let me know if you like it okay